<laughs> I am 31 years old and I have cerebral palsy, a condition that affects my body, not my mind. <coughs> In the summer of 2012 I started kiting with kite rides. I had never flown a kite before as I thought it was something that someone with my level of physical disability could not do. At first I couldn't, but slowly, over a few sessions I could keep the kite in the air. Just for a few seconds. to keep the kite under control for longer and longer periods. I learned to put it into a spin pulling my arms really hard. I would laugh and laugh. It was amazing fun. I can now keep the kite in the air for 10 minutes. We have made adaptations to the bar. It has Velcro on and I have special gloves that also have Velcro. This helps me grip the bar. <laughs> Oh, look, we missed that. Oh, my favorite. Kiting feels amazing. I feel like I have had a workout at the gym, which is really good for me. I have made some amazing friends who didn't see my disability. They see me. Stop hunting. Drunken. Womanizing. I am always up for a laugh. <laughs> I would like to see more people get involved, especially those with physical disabilities such as mine. I am spreading the word about kite writers widen as far as possible. I really want to raise funds for kite right. Gara has threatened to let the tires down on my chair unless I agree to skydive. He's an evil man. <laughs> Every charity in the UK should have service users at board level. Only by doing this can charities truly represent the people they aim to support. KiteWrite has this. KiteWrite is run by a CEO with enduring mental health problems. As instructors with substance misuse and physical disabilities. It's all inclusive. It's unique and it's special.